Welcome to the Women's National League Rapid Series 25. Um, delighted to be joined with Shauna and Alana once again. Thanks a guys for coming on as always. Um, starting off with Athlone Town, they beat Trudy 7-0 at Markets Field. Um, Emily Corbett with only the five goals in the game. Only only five. Um, Scarla Heron also got two. Um, Corbett's, you know, she shot right up that golden boot list and she's now level on your Gorman with 19 goals. Um, Lana, do you think she'll be able to snatch it before the end of the season? Do you think she'll be able to to get to the top? I think it'd be so fitting for Adlone this season if she did, Emma. Um, just the five goals, as you say, and um, <laughs> she has obviously a few games left to do. It's probably a good chance to. They've gone way up next. Not that they're one for conceding goals, but it's not the ones in the title race, I guess. And then they have bows, whereas Pease and Anya have Utes and Galway as well. So, yeah, still odds play for there. And as you say, just the five goals in that one. Not to mention that the hat-trick was wrapped up in the 35th minute, I think it was. Just, like, phenomenal. And as well, just to mention, you'd feel, nearly feel sorry for... Um, Scarlett Heron, who scored two, and <laughs> no one's talking about her. And I believe she also scored for the under 19s against Galway yesterday. So, look, I think it's just um, shows you how good Adlone have been this season that they have those few outlets. And even ones who didn't score two, I thought Gillian Keenan, Roshan Malloy, um, Madison Gibson, all those kind of players were brilliant for them on the day. And uh, yeah, and just to share as well, sorry before I forget, uh, she was excellent. Shauna Pearson on the commentary, I thought uh, she was class and that's a tough job to do on your own, so fair play. Yeah, absolutely. Um, moving on now, Wexford, they beat Saga Rovers 5-2 at Ferry Carrick Park. Um, a game where Kylie Murphy was really a player that really influenced the play of the game, uh, the flow of the game. Shauna, like how important is she going to be for Wexford Youths in terms of like that experience coming into these last two games of the season? Absolutely huge. Like, you know, she is Miss Wexford. Um, she's a player that turns up week in, week out for them. And, you know, the year that she's had, you know, both as a football player and then also personally, um, you know, you, you have to, to look at that and just think, how is she How is she doing it? Um, but just credit to her and, and full respect to her. Like, she's one of those players that I think every player in the league respects. It's like Pearl Slattery, you know, just they, they have that kind of respect from everybody. And she was phenomenal in the game. You know, it was one of those games they went a goal up and then, you know, um, a, a second goal and then a Sligo came back into it again. And I'm sure they were kind of thinking as a team, oh, no, not this again after at Lowen last the, two weeks ago. But, you know, Kylie, you could just see how determined she was. And you just can't allow her that time and space in the box. I think she had um, a lot of time for, for uh, some of the goals she scored. Um but equally, she's just that player that turns up and she always finds a way. So I think she's going to be absolutely massive for them. And, and just when the, the team need a, a player like that most, she steps up to the mark again. Yeah. And I think, you know, when Ellen Malloy was found out like she wasn't going to be playing the rest of the season, there were kind of questions about, oh, you know, she was kind of Wexford's main player, but Wexford have so much quality in that side. It's going to be a really exciting end to the season. You know, that's for sure. Um, moving on now, Piment, they were the winners against Cork 5 0. Um, I thought Piment played really well. And, you know, although Cork, they gave a good performance as well, Piment, they were just too good on the day for them. Um, Piment's sixth win in a row, and Nevery Burke's sixth clean sheet in a row, which is insane. Like, that's unreal. Um, Alana, how, just how important has Neve been for Piment this season? Yeah, I think uh, she's been vital for them. Just to quickly mention as well, I thought uh, Abby McCarthy was brilliant for Cork. You know, they really held out there for quite some time before the, as I said, the floodgates just kind of opened and it uh, crept away from them in the second half. But yeah, Neavery Burke with clean sheets, she's obviously no stranger to them, as we saw in uh, previous years. But I think as well, it's just shown the way that James O'Callaghan has kind of adapted from last year, where there was that... Um, kind of rotation policy. So Neve is getting that good stretch now and that time to, I suppose, build a bit of momentum in that there. And yes, he's uh, keeping things interesting with Piment in there at the top. And yeah, as for Cork, I'm sure they're um, excited to see what they can do next season because if they can kind of work on that, holding out those performances for longer, they'll go a long way. Yeah. Um, I think coming into the last couple of games in the season, I've been really impressed with how Cork have played, even though maybe they've, come away with like not the win at the end of the game I think their performances have been really solid um, and I'm looking forward to see, seeing if they can carry that momentum then onto next season um, moving on Shelburne they got the win over Dealer Waves uh, it was 2-1 in the end 
a couple of you know solid performances uh, a good few players that stood out in that one Shauna um, did any players stand out to you? Yeah for me Abby Larkin was brilliant um, I think what we've come to realise is she's definitely a player that needs to be playing in either the 10 or as a striker she she tends to like to be in positions where she can get in the ball and be an option a bit more and when you play out in the wing, you know, you're obviously there's some parts of the game when, when you're not involved because uh, the ball's on the other side of the pitch. But when you're playing in that 10 position or up front, you're nearly always involved in attacking moves. And I just thought it really showed to her strengths and she was just fantastic. Her turn of pace, how how good she is at kind of turning players, taking them on. Um, for a young player, just the confidence she she was showing in the game. And I, I think it's been a bit of a difficult season for her because there's been a bit of weight in her shoulders with getting the call up to the senior team. And there's an expectation that she'll come back to the to club level and perform. Um, and she's been playing out in the wing, which I, we can see is in our natural position. But I just thought in the game, she was everything good. That was about Chels in terms of getting on the ball, moving it and um, yeah, the other thing as well, I think with Chelsea, it was in the DLR game. I've never seen as many corners in a match. Um, I don't think it was definitely a game of corners. But um, no, as I said, Abby was phenomenal in the match. And it will be great now to see how she goes on the rest of the season and, and into the final. Yeah. And, you know, finally, Galway, they came from behind to beat both 2-1 uh, at Daily Mount. Um, Jenna Slattery with the penalty to get the win for Galway. Um, and, you know, with two games to go, Galway they can't get higher than fifth in the table um, it, it is what it is but Alana what have you kind of made of Galway's season so far? Yeah I think that's kind of a fair position for them to finish up to be honest I think they're there on merit like they've obviously had a turbulent little while of it off the pitch and uh, they've solid plans in place there now for next season as well when you incorporate Savannah McCarthy's injury and how big of a player she is for them and the fact that you'd imagine she'd be back uh, next season sometime. You know, I think uh, maybe then they'll want to push on for a bit more. Um, but I do think, yeah, that's probably a fair position them for them for the minute anyways. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hopefully they'll get those bits uh, remedied next year and even add even more title contenders to the mix next year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it was a some week for football and next week is going to be even more exciting for the WNL because... We'll have a much clearer picture of how the season is going to finish. Hopefully, hopefully we will. Uh, P-Mend obviously playing Wexford Youth. That's going to be a massive game next week. Um, thanks so much for joining me, guys. Uh, and I'll speak to you both very soon.